Hi everyone and welcome to the Builder Stage today. We're so happy to have you with us. And to start off here on the Builder Stage, we're going to be having Thomas Weisner from Integromat. Um, Thomas's goal is to be able to create an environment where small and medium-sized businesses can meet Integromat's partners and help them trend towards the dig digitalization of their business. Thomas will be talking about no code and how it can help you have more success with less development costs. Uh, Thomas, we're ready for you, so take it away whenever you're ready. Thank you very much for, for the introduction. I'm Thomas, uh, nice greetings from Prague. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be speaking here about uh, integrations uh, and digitalization of the business. I have a short presentation that I will just share right now. So I will just share it. Now you should be able to see my presentation. Uh, I'm gonna talk about like more success at lower cost. We have a great case study about like how you can have a great startup uh, with almost like a zero coding and uh, just a few developers involved or maybe even no developers involved in, in the startup, even if you want to do a tech startup. But before I start, I want to talk about age of subscriptions because this is something that's uh, happening now and where the world is going. Because, you know, in the past, when you wanted to, l to listen some, to some music, you had to buy some compact discs or you, you, don't have, to, you have to like uh, use your Walkman if you know what it is and uh, to, to listen to this music. But if but now you can just buy a subscription and just listen to almost unlimited number of songs at Spotify. The same thing if you want to write some documents or like calculate some sheets, you can just buy the Office package from Microsoft. It's also subscription-based, so you pay monthly or yearly for just having this software. And what's the best? Actually, is that you can use also the software for your business. You don't have to develop right now any software for you, or you can just use the software that is on the market and just use it, connect it with different tools, and that's it. That's how it works right now. Uh, you can just imagine that if you're an enterprise, you need SAP or Oracle or some like big enterprise uh, enterprise solution. But right now, if you're a small startup, you, you cannot afford that. And actually, I think it makes no sense to do it because you can use the, the subscription-based uh, software, business software for your purposes and just build the software according to your needs and according to your processes in the company. And if you grow, you just uh, uh, deploy some uh, software like CRM and choose another CRM that just fill out uh, better your needs. So this is the age of subscription. But what about something else? What about if we go more in the, into the offline world? Let's say that you want to have a car. You and right now there is this fin auto startup in germany who provides a subscription based model of having a car you don't have to own it you can just kind of rent it or lease it for a subscription so you pay monthly you can start anytime you get your car to your doors you can upgrade in case that you i don't know like you find a girlfriend that has already two children and you need bigger car so you can upgrade to, for a bigger car or otherwise you can downgrade if these children go to to the college and you don't need the big car anymore or even you can cancel the subscription so if you don't need the car anymore you just cancel the subscription return the car and that's it as i said this is a story of fin auto fin auto is a german startup german technological startup based in munich right now they have over 5000 active subscriptions that it, that means it is more than 2 million euros in a monthly revenue uh, they have net promoter score so how people are satisfied uh, over 75 out of 100 
and uh, last year they got financed by different big companies and they in the round a they received 8.8 million euros uh, for some share if you do this business the car renting or like car leasing or car subscription in the best then there are a lot of tasks and activities behind that must be done this is just one example uh, if you want to provide this service to a customer you need to get the car you need to register the car get some insurance uh, also also financing of course and then you need to transport this car to the customer this process is quite a, a lot of manual work and it can take up to three weeks to do it but thanks to the new technologies and to all the software as a service products you can do it in two days with almost none of uh, the, the the manual work you can you can see that uh, they decreased it from 100 percent of the manual work to 10 percent only thanks to using Airtable in this case, and with, uh, with, that is connected to the systems of the third parties, uh, to the manufacturers of the company, of, of the cars, uh, to the insurance companies, to the registration companies and, and others. So this is just one example, but there are a lot of tasks, as, as I told you. Uh, here is just a few examples. You can see that uh, just for the customer acquisition, you need not only to get this customer, so you do you need to do some marketing activities, of course, but also you need to do a credit scoring, so you know that uh, this customer is really um, will be paying for for the subscription because they, you will give them the car. Uh, you need to do the registration financing. Also, if you just think about it, you need to solve the problem of insurances and claims so if something happens to this car uh, you need to just repair it or have it repaired uh, and at the end uh, there is this buyback problem uh, just just the returning of the car and and much more of course and fin auto startup they they are clever people and they they don't have like a custom made software for that because it would take a lot of time and a lot of money, but they just deployed all these software as a service applications that are on the market and you can use it as well. And you can create actually a competitor of, of Finauta. Uh, and what do you do? The only thing is that you need to connect all these applications together and Integromat, as you can see, it's also there, uh, is one of the tools that can help you. If you do not know Integromat, what it is, Integromat is an integration platform as a service uh, where you connect different third-party services or applications as a in, a in a visual editor with no code. This is uh, a bit like a game changer because uh, I can give you an example. Previously, in, in the past, if you wanted to create a website, you need to know the HTML, uh, you need to code it, and then it, it was done. Now you can just go to Wix.com or like a WordPress or use other solutions, and you just drag and drop all the objects in, in, at your website, and you're done. So you can create these, these websites very easily and uh, in a short time. The same thing happens when you want to create a custom made software that is co that, that is combination of different softwares on the market. Let's say you can connect CRM system, you can connect accounting system, you can connect some databases, you can connect also tools for uh, digital si signature, you can connect uh, uh, banks and bank accounts to that. And you can use for that purposes Integromat because it's a visual tool, so you can do it. And it's no code tool. It means that you don't have to be developer to connect these services together and create 
uh, visual, we call it scenarios, but it's kind of workflow automation where you see what happens in the process. Uh, here is just one example. Uh, when a new email arrives to your Gmail account, then that you can add or Integromat adds a new row in a Google Sheet and takes uh, the attachment of the email and post it to Facebook if it's a, an image. And if it's not, it will just save it to a Dropbox. The same uh, Finauto does. This is a, a bit more complex scenario, but this is a, a way how they do financing, like B2B financing. Uh, or this scenario that shows uh, that shows a new car registration when a new customer comes to to the website. So you can see that they just use the applications that you might be familiar with, like Airtable, HubSpot, Slack, Google Sheets, Google Drives, and it's all connected in a process, in a visual process that, like, uh, if you just look at it, you can a bit understand what it means. But I'm not here to talk about like uh, how to create scenarios in Integromat. I want to tell you the main message because it's about like uh, more success at lower cost, of course. But this is what we learned from the case study of Finauto. Uh, when they started implementing or where, when you start implementing anything, Usually, you need two people to meet. One person from the business who knows the processes and the other person who is a developer or developer kind of person uh, that can implement this process and create these integrations and just uh, create a solution for you. Uh, it's, like a, it's good, but it, it, it's just the classic word when you you know like people get sick need to go for vacation sometimes they they don't have time sometimes you need to have budget to develop something or you need of course the developers to to have it but if you have this fin auto or no code uh approach then you need only one person the business person let's say who knows the processes and can create these integrations by himself or herself. Uh, so that's much easier, much faster, because you know what is on your mind, you know what the process should look like, and you can actually create the process and the integration by yourself because you just go to Integromat and you click it and you create a process. It's like creating a mind map. What it means in terms of money. This is, I think, the most crucial and most important part is that if you have just a traditional startup or traditional company for this, this specific case of car, car subscription, then you would need 10 developers approximately to develop the solution. Then you will need like 60 employees uh where somebody will take care of like a uh, customer care what someone will take care of registration someone will take care of uh, insurance and claims some will just uh transport the car to the customer and return the car from the customer and these things of course one ceo on the other hand if you have this fin out approach they, they have only two developers at all compared to, let's say, 10 developers. And then they have additional 26 employees where everyone is using Integromat. And when they do something new, they just create the scenarios by themselves. They don't need any developers for that because when you start in Finauto startup, you just get your email and basic onboarding of Integromat, and you can start right away to create integrations. Of course, they have one CEO, and Integromat costs something. It's not a big deal, but I wanted to include it also. And the best is, this is the saving. So what do you save uh, when you have this approach and when you employ all your employees and uh, in integration creation? 
so they can like uh, do the business and they don't have to meet with developers and they it, it absolutely speed up the company and the process where you go and what do you what do you deploy into in, into it so actually that was my presentation uh, I would suggest to you trying Integromat. Just go to integromat.com and you can start right away. We have a free account for you. And here are just uh, some contact if you want to contact me or if you want to add me on LinkedIn. So I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And now it's maybe time for your questions that I can answer. Thank you so much, Thomas, for that. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we did have a few uh, questions coming through um, on the platform, one of which um, is an interesting one, considering that Finn Auto is a, uh, a German company. Um, so how does, that, how does that relate to GDPR concerns uh, across Europe and with the, the new um, data regulations, you can say, across the European Union. Is there anything there um, that changes with respect to um, new Fin Auto startups? Um, actually, there was also one reason they chose us. Uh, not mm -hmm. not the biggest one, but uh, it was one of them. Because we are a Czech company. We are from Czech Republic, from Prague. And we need to be compliant with GDPR. So the system, the Integromat platform is fully compliant with GDPR. So mm -hmm. you don't have to care about it. And if still there are some concerns, we have also a confidential mode of every run of the scenarios. So it means that all the data processed by Integromat are stored only for a few milliseconds on our servers where there is this computing done and then it's done and, and you, you will never see it. It's never, it's, it's not mm -hmm. locked. So, so it's, uh, I think that's the best way. Very cool and very interesting. Um, I'm kind of curious myself, uh, what are the, how is, how is Integromat itself built? Can you share a bit about that? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, how, how, how does the software function itself? Um, how do you guys build it? What's your technology stack look like? Okay, so I'm not the tech guy, so I'm not sure. sure. If I can, I, but but I can tell you a bit about the the history, just because I think it sure, makes sure. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, because Integromat started as a as a company that did integrations for big banks and insurance companies, uh, connecting different legacy systems, the old systems that are like almost not able to connect to anything, and uh, from some kind of need, our developers created a platform because then it was easier for them to connect these systems and to proceed the data. And one day they decided that there are a lot of applications online that can be also connected to this uh, platform. And that's how Integromat was created and how actually like uh, we started because we needed a platform for integrations and we let other people to use the same platform. So Integromat actually has the, all the advanced features of enterprise solutions, but it's actually for SMBs. So for the small and medium sized businesses mostly. And uh, you can do a lot of stuff and a lot of fun with that. Very cool. Yeah. And a very interesting tool. Um, it's really great to know all that about Integromat, and those were all the questions that we had come through. So it was great talking with you today, Thomas. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you too, and have a great day. Okay.